Good afternoon everybody, it's Lynn. Uh, just coming on to show you what I was making while I was away um, when we were at the um, caravan. Um, I made one for Tina and I thought oh, I'm, I'm going to have a go at making another one of those. Um, so this is this is how it turned out. This is what, what I made. I hope it's all in the frame, is it? Could be. Um, this is how it turned out. Um, and I've used um, a photograph of Lily um, that I have. Um, it's been printed onto fabric. Uh, my ink was running out uh, on the printer. Um, so it's come out a bit, but I, I quite like it, it's sepia. Um, and then I covered um, the case in itself for this is um, a piece of fabric uh, it's just cream fabric that I use and then I, over the top I've put some um, tool this is just white tool on here and uh, I edged it round with the little dainty lace and that is all sewn and even underneath there that is all it's all sewn so that's how I start start off um, when I'm making one of these and then it on the inside so that's all been sewn down and the pocket is included in with when I sew it I pin it so that I'm only sewing it once so that it, it sews the lace and the pocket and the fabric and the um, the tool on this side I think um, that's not sewn down isn't that it's uh, I think it's glued down is that side um, that tiny little lace because there's two rows of it so the, that's how I start it off and this is just some net curtaining that I uh, I had and then I go up it and then turn round and come back and I leave a tiny little gap so that that gives it some movement and then this side I added some of this lovely lace that I had in my stash and I've sewn pearls into each uh, one of those flowers um, and then the front so this is the front so in the front uh, other than Lily I've put some um, edging lace that I found in my stash just a flat edging lace that is um, just the same on both both sides flat piece of lace and then I've put pearls round she is padded up a little bit and then these two beautiful appliques I recently purchased from um, Ivy, Ivy Ling hi Ivy and um, I just thought they went beautiful especially with the chatelaine she's got hanging down um, there and um, that I was going to give as um, a prize for, for my when I reach my 1000 subscribers uh, I think I'm 41 away from it fluctuates, it goes up and down a little bit uh, I think I'm round about 41 away from my 1000 so um, then I decided um, I'd have a go at making um, a lace um, stocking and I started off and dying, uh, and dying. What are you talking about, Lynn? Hand sewing, which everybody calls it slow stitching these days, is still hand stitching to me. So it's padded. I cut that out freehand. It's just my pattern. I've not taken it from anybody. It's my design. Um, and then what I did was uh, there's batting. There's um, 
the lining, which is the cotton material, and then I've put some um, lace over the top. And then I've stitched round each piece, joined them both together, added the um, little dainty trim round the top, and then um, when I made it, I had it flat so that I could incorporate the handle. Um, when I did the sewing, I, I went from one piece straight over to the other, so that is in with the with that. And then I put that on as well. I put the edging lace on before I, I joined the seam up. And then when I joined the seams up, because I did hand stitch it at first, and then I've I've sewn round with the machine. I like the shabbiness of it. It will fray from you know when it gets. I could shabby it up a bit more, but I'm not going to. And then I added, um, I made a bow in the same lace and added a pearl and sewn that onto there. So I thought that was just a nice little trinket for Christmas, for hanging on the tree, putting a, um, a sweetie in or a, some chocolates or something uh, as a little gift for someone. So then, after I'd done Lily, that trifold, I went on to do this one. Now I love how this has turned out. As I say, I don't normally keep anything for myself, so I decided um, I wanted to keep this one. So I'm keeping that, that's for me. And then I went on to make this one and I love how it's turned out with the blues and the creams and the whites and another sepia photograph of Lily. The same photograph but uh, one was printed black and white and one was printed colour. I think that was printed black and white and this other one was printed out as colour but as I say as my um, printer is running out you can see the difference in the photographs. But I like them both. I like the uh, how it's turned out. So yes, this is the same process. This is how I've and, and it's exactly the same how I've done this as the other one. Um, I sew it first, and then I do the. I add the pocket. I add the pocket. I add the uh, the lace inside. I add the um, tool, and it all gets sewn at the same time. And then I do my stitching up so it gives me three pockets. That's some old lace from a curtain, I think. I've had it a long time in my stash. Um, and then I've added this beautiful blue lace. I loved that lace. I'm not quite sure where that came from. I've had that a long time as well. Um, the um, This pleated lace is from our friends in China where I bought that from on both projects. Um, this is a piece that was in some lace that I bought from um, Ivy Ling. Thank you Ivy, it's absolutely gorgeous, I love it. And also the beaded pieces that I've cut up. Um, this lace I had in my stash, the blue lace that I edged it round. And then I Then I have the, the, the two um, two pieces and because they're not riveted on the back these, um, as everybody knows, you've got to go behind when you cut a piece up like this that's that intricately beaded, you've got to um, glue the back of it, let it set so that you don't end up with beads all over the place when you're adding it. So, um, yeah, this is a piece that I've cut up and I've added to it and I just love how the blue's turned out. So this one will be one of the prizes um, in my 1000 subscriber giveaway, um, if I ever get there. So I just wanted to come on and share that with you. Um, if anybody would like to promote my channel um, so that I could get, get there faster. That would be much appreciated. I'd love that. And um, as I say, I won't be doing a draw until I get to my stable 1,000 subscribers. 
and uh, I hope that won't be long. So thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.